LS Nasty Boys trying to make it at Ducks Light Out 13. Trying to get that win in LDR. With the little LS power plan, they not faking. LS Nasty Boy. I want to mention the whole team. John Dahl. Matt. Logan. LP. Travis. David. BJ. Marcus. CJ. LS Ball. Big shout out to the LS Nasty Boys trying to make it out. Live action from SGMP Flight Out 13. It is Wednesday morning. As you can see, slightly dew covered car, which is good because race cars like this, you actually don't wash. So this is the most water that will ever be on this thing. We're gonna wipe it down, it needs to be wiped down. You just plug the oil heater up. You got ready for tech. So we gotta just do a couple little things. Put the bullhorns on it. Um, Make sure I have all my gear, fill out my tech card, head to tech, get weighed. Everyone's getting unloaded. We got here yesterday. We went to watch a little racing. They were doing testing yesterday and it was a little bit rough when we were up there. There was a wreck, a couple passes, there was an oil down, long cleanup, two more passes, double oil down. called it a night and it is uh, it, it's part of it unfortunately but it sucks i feel for the guys the stage lanes are full and uh everyone's had to turn around and go home so that's part of it everyone's trying to test this is like the biggest race of the year this is like the super bowl does it give a super bowl vibe the the amount of oh, yeah. the, we pulled in tuesday evening the amount of trucks the amount of rigs the amount of cars here is unbelievable on a tuesday i didn't know so many of you fellow racers were unemployed like myself uh oh, that's what we got going on. We got the black sheep all. I think it's, I think it's all worked out. Solid roller, first time out here. Um, just a solid unit. Just a solid unit. We'll take a look inside. Is that like on the inside of the window? Oh, Both water everywhere. camera in like his back pocket. This is the detail crew. Alright, so we didn't put the car cover on last night. Which really isn't the end of the world. We're just a little um yeah we're a little damp here this morning so we're just giving it a quick wipe down. Every person that's like a paint and body guy at home is just like dying because it's just like but it was dirty so it's almost like a car wash. Mm. So once you get it all dried off after we go to tech we will get the detailer spray out and make it nice and shiny no fingerprints or nothing like that and then we'll be good to go so if you guys come around look over here i'll give you a quick run through of what they do at tech and look at the car we have to meet a minimum weight of i think with our combination is 2575 which is very light for this car this car will never be that light then they open up the door and they look for our chassis cert we were out of date but we did get in date down in bradenton at snowbirds so we're in date now. We are good to go. They open that up. They look at it. They say, all right, your chassis is good. That pretty much says that it's like safe. I don't know if it's like for some insurance reasons or whatever they're doing, but you got to be in date to go down track. <clears throat> some of these outlaw tracks, you don't really have to. They don't care. I'm here to tell you right now. We don't care. Let me tell you. Right, let me tell you. <laughs> we don't care. Jerry. They don't do tech. You just so show you up. You got a cage. That's fine. You show up down the track. You go. Next, they look at the, the belts. The belts is a big one that they look at because uh, they, and honestly, it's probably just easier just to stay up to date on belts. When you get to a car of this level, you're, I mean, you're talking about a lot of money spent over a lot of different places. Belts are like 200 bucks. Let's go ahead and put new belts in the car. We got some Impact Racing 2-inch belts. I made the switch from the 3-inch to the 2-inch. I love them. Everything's good. So we're in date there. Then they're going to look at my helmet, make sure my helmet's in date. So if you don't have any of this stuff in date, Sometimes you can get down track, but it's a really pain in the ass. I know the chassis cert, that's a big deal. The belt, they'll give you a pain, it'll be a pain in the ass. The window net in our car is out of date. So we're lacking there. We got to get a new window net at some point. 
but honestly you guys have probably seen i don't really use the window net and that's because i don't like the the buckle on it this is uh i think they have, they have much better ways to do it now but this is uh, it's got like a little heim down there so i can screw it in turn it screw it in real quick I've, I've had some major issues with this guy all right so as you can see it's got like the receiving end of a old school belt buckle and then an old school belt buckle here so you have to like push that on and really get it on there or else when you leave it'll come off mm. and hit you in the head but once you get it all the way on getting it off it doesn't like to come off that to me is an issue yeah. because if you can't get out the car yeah. you're in trouble so I, I do understand that I need to put a window net in there that when this gets an update here shortly, we will be putting a new window net in there and I will start using the window net. It's good to have. You get into a super violent wreck, Gumby, arms everywhere. Do you so, use arm restraints? Some people do, I don't, uh, especially with having to like reach up and pull the parachute. This car, there's not really too much movement, but some cars, you know, guys are reaching out there. I don't run the armor straights. My uh, my suit. It's an impact racing SFI 20, which I'll show you guys now. It it is serious. It's heavy. Uh, the pants are not made for a hobbit like myself. But you guys probably can't tell. I mean, this thing right here is not light. But mm -hmm. my theory on it is rather be a little hot than be crispy. So that's just how I think. Every time I go to complain about it, I'm just like, don't complain. You rather be wearing it and not need it than not wearing it and need it so yeah. we got all the stuff i wear the the nitro boots as well again it's just another thing like i'm not really a big fan of fire so i try to take all those safety precautions that i can we got good belts in the car i got a good head and neck restraint i wear a hans device we got new parachutes on the car we got the fries that cross your eyes just trying to make it safe so going through tech is a breeze now for us i remember before you guys used to we used to be like oh i hope that we can make it through but now we're good we're updating. also kill switch you gotta have a kill switch on these cars that's uh pretty much basic rundown logan anything else you want to add on tech nothing how do you feel about tech oh diaper oh engine diaper big engine diaper big nice. big bell house sfi transmission case engine diaper i mean all the stuff you want to do it do it right What do you want? Let's update the people. All right, Raleigh, two back from tech. This is, if this isn't one of the more exciting videos you've seen, this is real life. We're bringing you real racing action on and off the track. We're watching those guys set up the Pro Awning, which if anyone is a dealer, distributor, or installer of Pro Awnings, get with me because I can't afford one at retail. They're too expensive. With recent budget cuts, not possible. But I'd love to have one because they're gangster as hell. Um, we're 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 on deck. I think they're teching two at a time, so we're up next. Should have no problems going through tech. We're we're gonna wrap this video up, and then tomorrow's video will be shakedowns and first round qualifying. So we're gonna try to get two shakedowns and then qualify later today. And I think if we do that with a solid roller setup. I think we're flying. We can we could be competitive, and be really fast. You know, hope we go out there and get down. South Georgia Motorsports Park, it's like 
It's the holy grail of radial racing, so it should be pretty sticky. We're here with uh, Pearson, and we're going to protect the gun. Right behind us. Important information here. <laughs> 